Good evening, my dear viewers, and welcome to ATV from San Jose, California. I'm Suad Asfur. Palestine Day ignites the spirit of Palestine in the minds and hearts of people. Mark your calendar for Palestine Culture Day this Saturday on September 18, 2016 at the Hall of Flower in San Francisco Golden Gate Park. Palestine Day is exploring ways to introduce our children to our traditions and customs. It is a festival where our children come together to meet and share their common interest. A day to share our rich culture with our Arab and American communities. A wide variety of great food and dessert that are made just like home. Full non-stop schedule of great music, debke and dance. Also remember, there is a free parking at St. Anne of Sunset Church with free shuttle all day from and to the festival. My very special guests tonight, they are here today to share with us and tell us more about this important day. I have Dr. Samir Totah, retired pharmacist, who is the founder of Palestine Day 38 years ago and also the chairman of Palestinian American Coalition. And also Dr. Barhoum, Khalil Barhoum, professor from Stanford, and he is the co-chairman of the Palestinian American Coalition. Welcome to the show and thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> thank you. Uh, this was quite a bit coming from San Francisco. I appreciate you being here. Wasn't that? Time. It's worth it. Great, yeah. that's yeah. beautiful. Uh, Dr. Samir, can you tell us the history of Palestine Day? Of course. Uh, you know, this uh, Palestine Day started about 38 years ago, uh -huh. 1978. It was started in Ramallah Club of San Francisco. Okay. I was at that time uh, the president of the club. An idea came to me and I discussed it with the Ramallah Club. And after that, we discuss it with the Palestinian community at large. We have a big meeting, and everybody seemed to be excited about it. And we, we started Palestine Culture Day at that time. So basically, you came up with the idea, mainly? Basically, yourself? yeah, I would say so. It yeah. was your idea. Perfect. So it's, uh, it's been going on, and the main reason we started at that time, to have our Palestine Day to celebrate our culture, our mm -hmm. heritage in the United States, and yes. hopefully to introduce our culture and heritage to the American public. It was a great response. At the first year, we have a large art, big article from the examiner about ourselves and about Palestine and about our culture. So was it a lot of work? Because this is like the very first Arab community they came up with an idea like that. It is lots of work because many people get involved, thousands, I think. Uh, many people have to do the, the fashion show, the Dabka, and uh, yes. the children uh, Dabka group, entertainment, the music, the food especially. We have hundreds of women working for authentic Palestinian food. And men. And men. <laughs> <laughs> and men, yeah, of course. Perfect. But the, the woman always the backbone of Palestine. Day, exactly. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Great, yeah. yeah. So it was very successful, and uh, it was always done under Ramallah Club. Mm -hmm. Uh, four years ago, I and Dr. Khadir Barhoum, Fuad Atiyah, we thought, and the President of Ramallah Club, we thought, well, maybe the Palestinian community should be involved more in Palestine Day. And the President of Ramallah Club called on the Palestinian community to get together. We have a big meeting. Over 70 people attended, and we decided to have a Palestine Day run by the Palestinian people. And a coalition was formed at that time, which consists of at least eight Palestinian organizations, non-profit organizations, and we established political action com uh, Palestine uh, Coalition uh, Committee. Mm -hmm. So with that, now we have Palestinian <coughs> American Coalition, mm -hmm. and we have Palestine Day uh, together, joined together with the Palestinian community, and the Palestinian community came all the way and supported Palestine Day. And uh, last year we have two, three thousand people attending Palestine. Uh, well it was a great success. Yes, it's mm -hmm. one of my favorites. I yeah. always go. Thank it's you. a beautiful day to be in the sun at uh, the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. How yeah. can you go wrong, right? You can't. Yeah, good food, good yeah. uh, entertainment. Uh, 
So what do we have to have Palestine Day? Uh, if I may, before I answer, uh, Palestine Day this is on Sunday, not, not Saturday. Is it the sa su Sunday? Yeah, okay. sun Sunday the, the 18th. Oh, I'm sorry but if I made a mistake. No, that, that, that's fine. Uh, I just can't wait till Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because the show airs on, on Saturday, that, 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 that's why. Oh, yeah, we were yeah. talking about that. But we, we need uh, Palestine Day as much as the, the larger American community needs Palestine Day, I think, because in the minds of the, the Palestinians, Palestine Day serves many uh, purposes, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, one is to express the, 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 the pride uh, of the Palestinians, Mm -hmm. of who we are, where we come from, as Samir pointed out, our heritage, our traditions, and so on and so forth. And on the other hand, also, it spreads, you know, the, the message of solidarity among the Palestinians living in, in the Bay Area because it is one uh, main occasion where all the Palestinians actually happen to come from everywhere and as far as you know, Fresno and Sacramento, uh, you know, the, the, the whole Bay Area uh, and fill the hall and the courtyard of the, the Hall Flowers in Golden Gate Park and uh, celebrate you know, our, our uh, uh, heritage, our nationhood, um, our, you know, being Palestinian. And uh, I think thirdly, it's very important that we, we try and reach out to the, the wider American community, as I, as I mentioned uh, earlier, because unfortunately, uh, most of the emphasis on the Palestinians mm -hmm. has to do with, with politics, and uh, uh, often it's not, it's not good news. Yes. So uh, the, the Palestinians are uh, stereotyped in, in the minds of many Americans, and uh, the fact that we have this, this day where we put our, you know, uh, uh, best foot forward, so to speak, and people can be introduced to our food, our culture, our dance, our songs, and us just get to meet us is just such such an occasion, and uh, that's why we do need Palestine Day. Yeah, and I also see other Arab, uh, not necessarily uh, Palestinian, but I see a lot of Arab from the Middle East country united there. They come for the food and the music. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, and the, some the, American people, they join too. Yeah, the, the food, of course, is a very important yeah. component. But you know, th th there's a lot more than, than food going on there. I mean, some people actually uh, who don't see each other for months on, on end, Mm -hmm. uh, wait for this this occasion where they can go and kind of uh, basically uh, uh, get reacquainted with each other taking your children to Palestine day to introduce them to our other you know Arab and, and Palestinian uh, children at the festival yes. and instill in them the, the Arab culture uh, mm -hmm. through all these activities that that, that go on uh, throughout the, the day is part and parcel of the, the event. Well, yeah, I'd like to add one more thing sure, you know, go ahead. to what Dr. Khalil said. Uh, one of the main objectives of our Palestine Day is to raise funds and to support our Palestinian people back home and even here in the United States. So whatever money you raise from that occasion, uh, it exactly. goes... Exactly. Last couple of years, we raised over $100,000 or wow. went to medical mission to build a clinic in Gaza and to send uh, through the, we, we associate ourselves with other group who mm -hmm. could do a bigger job. For instance, we work with the Ramallah Federation to send 20 doctors to the West Bank and Gaza with equipment and everything else. And also we helped out by sending uh, money to build uh, uh, parks for the kids. Oh. Uh, That's it's nice. called Al Bayara. Now in uh, in the West Bank, we have about four parks under the name of the Palestinian community in the Bay Area. Okay. So this is our ma basic objective to help our Palestinian people. There. That's great. I read All the money that, goes there. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you, but mm -hmm. I read once that uh, you do pick like 60 students 
every year from the university or colleges in Palestine and take them for scholarship, give them scholarships to finish education. Is that yeah. part of the Palestine Day uh, Fund or that's Ramallah Federation? No, that's the Ramallah Federation. Yeah. That's, that's different? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. what are some of the obstacles you faced, you know, going through this over the years? It's been over 38 years mm -hmm. now. Any obstacle that you have to overcome? Not really is an obstacle, but there is, uh, we're trying very hard to bring more Palestinian people to come to our committees, to work with us, to do things. Because we have eight organizations, and they are non-profit organizations with the Palestinian American Coalition. Also, we have a uh, few members at large. We need more people to be involved. So what Men are we doing to unite them and have them all work together? Well, I mean, uh, the, the challenge, as, as Samir pointed out, is mostly on the organizational level because uh, Palestine Day was taken care of, basically uh, organized and uh, set up by uh, Ramallah, Ramallah Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the, the, the past four years now, it's been the task of the Palestinian American Coalition to do that, which in, in our view is a step forward in the sense that we brought all these uh, organizations, Ramallah and Birzeit and uh, Beit Hanina and Bethlehem and you know, all, all, all the others, and got them to work together mm -hmm. and coordinate the, their effort toward making Palestine Day truly a Palestinian event rather than an event that is organized only by one uh, segment of the population. And Ramallah, people uh, uh, actually you know, carried the, the burden for many years for the whole Palestinian community, for which you know I think the Palestinian community are eternally grateful. But uh, the challenge, as, as, as I said, was mostly bringing all these disparate groups and different organizations together and mm -hmm. <clears throat> get them to coordinate their, their effort, not just on Palestine Day, but on other events and uh, throughout the, the year. And so far, you know, um, you know we, we're glad to see that it, it, it's working. So how important for all the Arab or the Palestinian people to stay in touch together here, to work together, to retain our culture and, you know, preserve our uh, customs for, to, for the generations to come? And how is it important to stay in touch with the people back home? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, uh, you realize we are a very small community. I mean, we're, we are the minority of the minority, so to speak. So for us to be working you know, in, in separate groups and uh, dividing uh, uh, ourselves even further than we are already divided is kind of counterproductive. So that, that's why Palestine Day actually is a very important tool for us to bring the Palestinian community here together and get them actually to celebrate uh, as a community where they come from and everything they stand for. And by doing so, we're also connecting, as Samir you know, outlined, with uh, uh, the people ba back home. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the modest contributions that, that we've made are also an expression of our commitment to our background, our homeland, our people, our culture, our cause at, at, at large. So I think Palestine Days it's, 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 is a real uh, uh, expression of our desire to stay connected internally, or if you, if you wish, domestically on the American scene, yes. as well as to our roots back home. Yes. Uh, Dr. Samir, I was going to ask you what uh, other programs you sponsor since, you know, you are from Ramallah and with, you've been the president for Ramallah Federation for a while and for a few mm -hmm. years. Uh, any program you sponsored? Yeah, our, the Ramallah Federation sponsors many programs. 
One program, they have the medical mission, okay. which is every year they send at least 20 doctors with uh, supply, medical supply and everything. And they go there, they stay a couple of weeks and do surgery. Mm -hmm. The other thing we send, uh, what we have, uh, Project Hope, which we send at least 20, 30 young adults to go to Ramallah to work there, uh, to build trees and get acquainted with wow. our culture over there. That's and a great we, idea. Yeah, and besides the scholarship program, we have about at least 40, 50 people every year. Mm -hmm. We support those. Uh, the Ramallah Foundation is really very active in that regard, and actually uh, this in October, they're receiving an award from the Christian Foundation, Communication Foundation, mm -hmm. International Foundation, for their continuous work. The main thing is to continue the work. Not to do it one year and then stop and forget about it. Yes. And that's what I think the Ramallah Federation have been doing. That's great. So you're doing a lot of work for people back home. What are we doing for our community here in the States? The, the fact that we brought the, actually the community together <laughs> is in and by itself mm -hmm. a, huge, a huge task. Because uh, you, you probably are aware that for the longest time, uh, our activism uh, sprang from, you know, kind of tribal uh, uh, impulses. So each village and each town has its own association and own organization. And uh, thus the, the uh, activities were directed at each particular community. I mean, Palestinian uh, uh, organization. Uh, whether it's Birzeit or Bethlehem or Ramallah. Or, uh, so the, the, the fact that we, we you know, thought about bringing all these different organizations, different groups, uh, mm -hmm. with all what they represent in terms of membership uh, and activism and so on and so forth, uh, was for us quite, quite an, an achievement. So uh, uh, instead of thinking kind of uh, uh, parochially and, and individually, now the Palestinian community has an address, has a, has a mouthpiece, has a spokes, you know, uh, 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 person, so to speak, and, and that is the uh, Palestinian American coalition. And putting, the, the, uh, putting on the pa Palestine Day was just one more way of showing the unity among the, the Palestinians mm -hmm. in, in the Bay Area. <clears throat> yeah, well, mm. realizing that the future is as important as the past, that's a great way to build bridges, yeah. to keep yeah. doing all that and all the convention you do for the Mullah yeah. clubs and all the people. Yeah, we, 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 we have to. We really have no, 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 no option. Like I said, you know, we are a small minority and uh, even when we're united and working together, our efforts are very modest. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine when we're divided, uh, how, how much more fractured the, the, and insignificant our effort is going to be. Anything new for the upcoming uh, years to come? Something new ideas that you're going to be working on? I think so. <coughs> we are looking forward to connect with other American organizations okay. who are supporting, especially who are supporting the Palestinian people, right. like uh, PDS uh, organization, which is they doing a great job, mm -hmm. and many other organizations. Hopefully, we could bring many American organizations to support us, and hopefully, they will understand more about the tragedy of the Palestinian people and to learn the truth and the facts only. That's all we want to do, just tell them the facts and the truth about our cause, nothing well, else. Yeah, well, what can we do to promote our culture and uh, have the American people more understanding of our people and our issues? What can we do to make them, you know, have their eyes and open uh, and ears listening to us? Well, it's very difficult in the United exactly. States. If we can reach to the media and tell the truth only, that's all we want from the media to do, I think we could reach the American public very well. How are we going to do that? I don't know. You try to do something and you find a position, millions of dollars going against us, you know. Yeah, um, but, you, you know, change takes time. And if we go back uh, 15, 20 years you know, ago, I think, uh, talking about the Palestinian issue in particular 
was a lot harder than, than now. So we see change. Yes, it is incremental. Yes, it's not you know huge, but uh, it's gradual. And you know, in 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 a place like the United States, which is a huge you know uh, country, uh, like I said, change takes time. Yes. And we need to be consistent in in, in our effort, and we need to be optimistic. We need to keep you know keep going. Uh, we know that. Uh, uh, we have a lot to do still, but we're also proud of what we have accomplished so yes, far. Yes, even if we fail, it's still we still have to keep trying, Absolutely. better than the alternative not to try. Yeah, I mean, exactly. the, the outreach yeah. effort that, that uh, Samir just uh, mentioned is a very important step in putting us on, on you know, the right path in the sense that uh, one we unify our community first, and then we try to go out of our you know, shell, so to speak, and reach out to the wider American community, especially the organizations that have been very active on the Palestinian issue, yes. who are actually familiar with, with the Palestinians, familiar with, with their cause, with their culture, and try to bring them out and, and, and you know, have them coordinate with, with us, not just on Palestine Day, but mm -hmm. you know, throughout the, the, the year. So yes. you have organizations like Sabil, for instance, uh, 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 Mecca, uh, Middle East Children's Alliance, Jewish Voice for Peace, and so on and so forth. All these organizations have been around for a while, and they've been doing great work on the Palestinian issue. And it behooves us to, you know, uh, connect with, with these people. We do connect, we have connected with them in the past, but on, on an individual kind of, of basis, uh, yes. through our, you know, contacts with, with them. But now that, that we do have, you know, a, a representative for the Palestinians on an organizational level, which is the PAC, Palestinian American Coalition, I think it's a lot easier to reach out to these organizations and see what we all can do together to promote the, the cause of peace for the, the, the Palestinians. The Palestinians have been through a lot over the years, as we all know, and I think they, they deserve a break. They deserve a break there, and we deserve a break here as, as well, because our image is what uh, you know, the mainstream media has made it out uh, to be. It's not about people like Samir or me or the, the successful Palestinians throughout Palestinian, I mean, the, the American society, the, the grocers, the, the hard workers, the engineers, and you know, all, all these people that Americans actually come into contact with on a daily basis, but they're not even aware mm -hmm. of where yes. they come from. And what what these people have have been through uh, over the years, and it's very important for us to you know introduce ourselves on a human level to these people, and we need all the help we can get from these you know support organizations to do that with us. And I think you know all together uh, the the effort may may bear fruit. And like I said, we just need to be patient. We need to be consistent. And we should not lose lose hope. I think we're on the right track. I'd like to add one thing else that we have been getting good support from the local officials, mm -hmm. like the mayor of San Francisco, the mayor of Delhi City, uh, even Senator Fulbright. He was here one time with us, and they're all supporting that. And even we got proclamation from them about Palestine Day, about our culture. So we do have support that some people who believe in us, think of us, and they understand our cause. So that's hopefully great. we could add more to these people. Continuous support, continuous mm. effort, that's all we need. No, all yeah. we need is, is for people to recognize who we are. And yes. once they do, I, I, we're, we're not worried. I mean, our community, by and large, is a very hardworking and highly accomplished uh, community. And we have nothing to be ashamed of. We simply need to introduce ourselves to, to, to the, the larger American community and not through the you know, kind of political prism where the Palestinian has always been 
as I said before, stereotype, but uh, culturally, I mean, people can, can connect, I think, with the Palestinians more easily than politically. And hopefully that, that will open their eyes to you know, reading about Palestine and talking to other people uh, uh, about it and hopefully going over there and, and visiting. Mm -hmm. uh, to see the situation That's on, great idea. On, on the ground. Yeah. When they see it, they believe it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, the Ramallah Federation doing it on a yearly basis, getting different group people to go there. Mm -hmm. They take them there, they show them everything. Yeah. And even they take them to Israel and Palestine to make sure. Yeah. And yeah, I heard that they change their mind big time when they get there. They do. Oh, yeah. And they see they the do. truth. Yeah. However, uh, unfortunately, we're running out of time. Yeah. I mean, there's so much to talk about. And I want to thank you so much for coming. Uh, hopefully you. we'll have more episodes and we talk more about Palestine. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you for having yeah. us. Again, I want to remind our viewers that Palestine Day is this Sunday, September the 18th, at the Hall of Flower in the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. Free parking uh, at the Sunset Church with free shuttle all day to and from the festival. Yeah. On Monday, September 12th, the Muslim community in the Bay Area and the Middle East celebrated Al-Adha, the sacrifice holiday, hoping that uh, next year all the Eid for Palestinian people will be liberated and Syria is finally unified and peace is restored to the rest of the world. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I'm Saad Asfur. Good night. to talk about, you know. Yeah,